I've been looking forward to Mac OS Big Sur pretty much since its announcement. Uh, there are a lot of things I don't like about it. The art style, the change in the uh, user interface is not my favorite in many regards, but at the same time, I'm excited for what it brings to the future of Mac. So I am excited to try it out, and it finally releases uh, today. Uh, November 12th, had to look at my <laughs> watch there for a second, I couldn't remember what the date was. But Mac was Big Sur is finally out now, it's been a long time. Uh, I think this is the latest in the year that we ever had a Mac OS release. Usually, they always come after iOS, but it's still usually in early or late October. I don't think we ever had it pushed back to November before, but it's finally here. So let's go ahead and download it and try it out. This is my MacBook Pro. That's my Apple TV, and this is my legit TV. Yeah, that's how messy my life is right now, that my computer is directly in front of my TV. And my plan is certainly not to watch any TV while I'm sitting at this desk. No, no I just didn't have anywhere else to put the TV. We're right into a new desktop here because the other five I had open are so full of clutter that you wouldn't be able to find anything. Go to System Preferences. You can already see the one there, Updates Ready. Click Software Update, checking for updates. And there it is, Mac OS Big Sur. If you click on more info, it just sends you to Apple's website, uh, the macOS Big Sur site, so there's not actually any release notes in software update. It's also a 12.8 gigabyte download. That's that's big. I'm actually going to check my internet speed real quick. I actually need an idea of how long we're looking at here. So right now we're looking at 98.6 megabits down on my Wi-Fi from this desk. So, uh, I mean, that's uh, a decent enough Wi-Fi signal so that this won't, uh, won't take literally years, but it's not going to be super quick either. So you can see it's now an upgrade instead of an update um, to Big Sur, and we're going up to 11. Um, we've been on macOS version 10 for years now. As we're, we're going up to 11, guys. This is this happening. Well, that, that failed pretty fast. Attempt 2. Okay. Third time's a charm. Okay. This was a blast. So I closed literally everything on my computer except for that uh, load of Safari tabs because I actually need those. Um, and I closed out of system preferences and we're going to try again. No, no, okay. Okay, so uh, plan B. I will go ahead and restart. See if that fixes anything. Okay, that wasn't any more than like 45 seconds. Even after using this computer for like an entire year, I'm still so impressed at how much faster this boots up than my old MacBook Air did. It's almost instant in comparison. So let's go ahead and check for updates again. And no, no, okay, that, okay, well. So if any of you are having that issue or a different issue, what you can do is go to the App Store and look up uh, Big Sur actually on the App Store. It's not one of the first results. It's farther down. It's the last result for whatever reason. Um, so there's Mac OS Big Sur on the App Store. If you remember, if anyone's had a Mac for a while, you remember you used to download um, actual software updates on your Mac from the uh, App Store. It was kind of a weird design decision. They eventually moved it to system preferences, but for some reason, uh, Mac OS Big Sur is still here in the App Store. If you click Git, then that opens the page up in system preferences and asks uh, to make sure you're ready to download Mac OS Big Sur. And there you go, you can click download, and it does the exact same thing, I'm just kidding. So I've done a little bit of research online, and it's pretty clear to say, um, if we hadn't already known this already, uh, just from that little uh, demo there, that it is something wrong on Apple's end. A lot of people online are reporting the exact same issue where the installation won't even start. And people who have gotten the downloaded installation to start are reporting that the download times have been upwards of 17 hours over gigabit ethernet, which is just not right. Uh, something's definitely wrong with Apple servers on their end, uh, whether it's uh, the servers themselves, a, a technical issue, or whether it's just over congestion from so many people trying to download this update at once. I could definitely see that as well, because this is definitely like the latest a Mac OS update has ever released during the year, I think. And a lot of people have been excited. Mac fans have been excited about this update for a long time. So maybe everyone's rushing to download it at once and that's causing things to crash. I'm not sure. All I know is right now I, I, I can't get it. I'm, I'm stuck on Catalina, which might be a good thing because... I, uh, I have a video conference in like two hours and I guess it's better, best I don't have a brand new operating system on my computer right before an important video conference. But anyways, 
Hopefully later tonight I'll be able to try again and it'll actually work. You guys be sure to let me know down in the comments below what your experience has been, if any of you guys have gotten the macOS Big Sur update to download yet and how long it's been taking. I'm just curious. I'll see you guys later.